Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. So for this video, I'm going to do a scrap with me and I'm going to be creating a pocket page to match a layout that I have already created in my 12x12 album. And so I briefly wanna show you my 12x12 album, how it is right now, and just talk about things that I'm going to do in it for the rest of the year. So I have my album behind me, but I'm going to show you the layout that I did previously. I believe I did a scrap with me with it. Um, maybe like two scrap with me's back or one scrap with me back. I don't, I think it's scrap with me, maybe like six. And I will definitely leave a link down below and up in the cards so you can watch that process. But it's basically this layout here, this layout here that I will be making the pocket page to match. And so my 12 by 12 album is not like a, it's not chronological. I don't keep it chronological in any way. It is basically, I don't want to say a catch-all because it's not a catch-all, but it is an album that I work in when I feel like working in it. So it's not chronological or anything like that. I've been doing layouts in here since maybe late 2018. And so anytime that I want to do a pocket page or an actual layout, it goes in here. But what I'm noticing is that whenever I do a single page, so I always do a single pocket page or a single layout page, never a double spread, and I put it in the album, I am more likely to create a matching page, whether it's a pocket page or scrapbooking layout for the page that already exists in the book. And so I'll give you an example of that. If I can take out some of these these pages here and so I I'm gonna I'm gonna show you an example so I did this layout first I think I have a process video on this layout so I did this layout first and put it in my album and what it sits next to is this pocket page that I did separately I totally I did this like at a different time but I did it with similar photos and similar uh, elements that I used in the layout and I did not plan it that way. It's just when I wanted, when I went in to look at my album to see what, 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 the, like what was missing. Um, I just t generally tend to match the previous page with the new page, and so I have to go back through my album um, because there are some. There, there literally, I have some pockets. Like for instance, behind that layout, I have just photographs here. And I just kind of put, whenever I want, I want to do a layout with this photo. So I have, a, I printed the photo out in two different sizes, but I want to do a layout with it. And so when I want to do a layout with a photo, like scrap a photo in a layout format, I just kind of put it in the pocket page and I put it in my album. And so the pocket page that sits next to it is this one, which is not done. And again, I already put the photos into the pocket. I just have to go back and scrap it. And so I have, like spaces in my album where I have to go and actually scrap it, uh, scrap the photos that I've already put in there. But basically if I have photos that I'm like, oh, I wanna do a pocket page with these photos or I wanna make a layout with these photos, they go into empty pockets in like page protectors in my album so that whenever I feel like creating a layout or feel like creating a pocket page, I just go in there, I look at what I have that needs to be done and I make the page. And so, if I can get the page that I'm looking on. So I'm doing a pocket page that's gonna sit next to this layout here. And this one is a very white layout. I did a lot of watercoloring and it's just a lot of pops of color and it documents my dress or me in my dress that I made for Dapper Day for Disneyland in 2018. And so I have some photographs from Disneyland for the same exact same trip, but these are just like Disneyland photos. It's not, there's no photos of me in it. Um, in them, it's just like a photograph of the, um, oh my God the carousel, the castle, and Flo's Cafe. And so I kind of wanted to get those into a pocket page uh, sitting next to that layout, sort of as an extension of that layout. And so this is the page that I'm going to be showing you today. So if I can kind of get you in frame here so you can see it. That is the page and I will be using mostly it's from the new Felicity Jane Bailey kit. Um, I think most of this stuff, like almost all of the cards and the papers are from that kit. And um, the little extra bits, so I have a lot of um, 
Disney-esque ephemera here. I have the Mickey and Minnie, I have the It's a Small World clock face, I have another silhouette of Mickey and Minnie in a heart, I have the D uh, for Disneyland, I have this little Disneyland piece here. Um, these, the ones that are like this, those are from the Fairy Tale Club and I will try to leave a link down below. I believe it's one of the digital kits from the fairy tale club and then this piece here is a uh, old vintage ephemera from disneyland that i have an entire pinterest board of that you can go and you can just print them off and so that is the layout the pocket page that i'll be working on today and so i just kind of wanted to come on and just give you like a introduction about that hopefully it was pretty brief because i tend to ramble a lot but yeah i will get into the process now so here is a, another look at the layout that I'll be creating the matching pocket page for. And I have my pictures here. I have the Felicity Jane Bailey kit along with some other bits and pieces that I pulled from my stash. I have a lot of Disney type pieces from the Fairy Tale Club that I thought would look well and match very well with the Felicity Jane kit. But yeah, I'm mostly using the Bailey kit with the exception of the little Disney pieces that I'm going to be using throughout this pocket page. And so I'm just putting down like the base cards. For the most part, I think the cards, the 3x4 cards in the middle are going to be the base for that section of this pocket page. I actually have a lot of difficulty trying to find paper to fit the 4x6 slot. So this is a Design A Project Life pocket page. Um, I'm actually using the ones from scrapbook.com, but it is the Design A, so it's the one that has the four 4x6s and the four 3x4s. And so I am struggling. And you can see me here, I'm pulling out like every single paper from this Felicity Jane kit to see what would look best behind this transparency. And so this is a transparency from one of the Say Cheese collections from Simple Stories. I cannot tell you which one, I really don't know. But it's basically of a castle and um, it says something like the happiest place ever on it, but it's in white. And so I'm trying to find a paper from the kit that it'll stand out, like it'll pop out a little bit. And I end up settling on this sheet. It is a kind of like a, a like really light pale mint color, but it's a, sh a stripe with white. But you'll see here that I end up cutting a couple of pages down to size to make my four by six cards. So I end up cutting a solid page. I end up cutting the mint on white stripe page. I end up cutting that pink on pink paper. And a little later on, I end up cutting a, I think it was like a black and white kind of stripe plaid or sort of paper. Because I, I like, I really struggle trying to figure out which papers, like which pattern papers should be my base pages for those bigger pocket pages. And yeah, I'm trying to balance out the colors too in the layout. And so the layout that I showed you in the beginning, it's mostly white, like it's just a lot of white, white with just pops of color. And so I actually end up pulling out a 12 by 12 sheet of white cardstock to see maybe if those um, four by six pockets should have a white background and that didn't end up working. But you'll see in the process of me switching up those background pieces because just I was just trying to find a balance of the colors on this pocket page only because it's sitting next to such a white layout. But luckily for me, the colors in this Felicity Jane kit match perfectly with the pops of color that I used on the layout. This kit is just gorgeous and oh my god, it's so pretty. And anything could work really and you can see that I'm changing up the cards in, in the middle and like I said, I go back to the original cards that I picked out because I think they just worked better. And you see me kind of put stuff in pockets because I think I'm like fairly certain that those are going to be my cards. 
and so I'm pretty settled on that all white 3x4 card. It says uh, today, tomorrow, always on it and I end up putting this little happy die cut which I think is from an old pink Paisley Paige Evans collection. I think it's like her first collection but it's in that yellow and I used pops of the yellow on my layout and so I kind of wanted to use the pops of the yellow in this pocket page. And so I'm pretty settled on that and on the top of it I'm using a little circle piece from one of the fairy tale club kits and it's the it's the little clock face in the it's a small world clock tower thing so i thought it was really cute and then the colors match really perfectly and so this is where i take out that cardstock and you can see that i cut it down to size and i'm trying to see if it looks better with the white. I'm pretty settled on the mint and white stripes on the on either side, so that looks the best be with the castle in front of it. Um, only because where the typed writing in white is, it, go it layers right on top of one of the mint stripes, so I, it was perfect for that. Uh, but yeah, so I'm playing around with the white, having the white background and I start building up my little clusters, my little photo clusters, and I'm matting them on different colored cardstock from the kit because I'm just like, okay, if I'm gonna use the white, then everything else needs to be pops of color. I end up ixnaying the white cardstock, you'll see, and I trade it in for one of the Felicity Jane papers that is like the, it's a white-based cards, like paper, but it has sort of like a plaid or like a cross hatch pattern on it in thin black stripes. And so I think that worked better because for some reason the white cardstock, it was just too plain. And so you see here, I kind of fast forward, I was moving cards around and I decided to just work with the cards that I know that for sure are going to be in the pockets. And so this t today, tomorrow card, again, I really like how that looked. It was very simple. And so I'm just kind of putting it there in the pocket. And the details card that's next to it is also like a solid card. I'm using that card and that's where I'm gonna be doing my journaling. So I put that also in the pockets. And so I am just playing around again. I pull out the die cuts here just to see if there's anything in the die cut pack. This is for the Bailey kit, the same kit um, that I can use. And a lot of it is like Valentine's themed. So I was just like, mm, it's not gonna work. But I'll, but I decided to use bits and pieces. I love that little, um, it's like a speech bubble, but with a white heart in it. And I thought that would be really cute. Like just on the card on like above the Mickey and little mini drawings there that or the XOXO one. And so I'm just kind of pulling out pieces and placing them at different places. Like that love ends up being on my pocket page, just not on that card. And yeah, I'm just kind of fiddling around, trying to see where everything looks good. Um, I was very indecisive with this particular pocket page. Like um, generally when I do any sort of pocket page or scrapbooking layout, it doesn't, like, I, it takes me a while. It takes me at least an hour, I think, to really settle on some sort of design. And it's just a lot of me pulling pieces and different products and just layering them on top of each other just to see what works, what I like. And yeah, it's just a lot of playing around. Um, I have that D there. It's another one of the fairy tale, fairy tale Club pieces, and that ends up on the layout as well. But you'll see here, I fully decided that I'm going to use that little, it's one of those little Instagram things, but it's like in this mint color with a white heart, and I'm using the Mickey and Minnie sketch drawings. I will try to leave a link down below to this specific fairy tale club kit. Um, I believe I bought the digital of it and I just printed it and cut it on my silhouette. Um, but that's where the little Minnie and Mickey pieces are from. And everything, like all the little Disney drawings, like Disney pieces that you see here are drawn by Andrea from the fairy tale club. And I think 
they're just really cute and I'm using a lot of like the blue and like the mint color and so I, I figured oh since they're like she made them mint like she made them like a teal blue minty color instead of black and it'll match really well and it pops like against that yellow and so that's in the pockets that is like finished and any time that I put something in the pocket I'm just like okay it's done like that is how that's gonna look and again I am playing around with those <laughs> four by six cards mostly the one I'm pretty settled on the mint and green stripe I think um, and definitely behind the castle I am I'm just trying to figure out where the colors balance like how well they balance with each other and what patterns and oh, it's just a mess I spent so much time trying to find the papers that worked for this particular pocket page and I don't think I've ever spent that long trying to find patterns that worked it's ridiculous and I think it's because I was creating this page for the layout and the layout just happened to be really white with just like the pops of color but yeah you can see here I'm looking through all the Felicity Jane papers again and I thought that kind of grid paper would work because it has some of the pink but I pull out this beautiful plaid it has these thin black stripes on it and I'm like this might work only because it's a white based paper but it has some sort of pattern on it and so you see me here I'm cutting it all down to size and I toy around with using the the hearts on the back because I have that one journal card that had the hearts but it was a bit too much it was just it was too much color and so I decide not to use that and I put temporarily the black and white plaid stripe up, up down like for backgrounds and then so it's kind of like diagonal the same pattern so the mint and white and on the top left and the bottom right and then the other patterns opposite and that's just appealing to me. I I really like symmetry. I like when uh, certain colors or patterns appear opposites each other. So um, if you see, I have the yellow card, the yellow journaling card there. But I on the bottom left photo cluster, I managed to use another yellow journaling card behind just to add a pop of color because I like seeing the color that way if that makes sense. Um, and you'll see towards the end when I start to embellish, I actually put a heart, a yellow heart by the castle uh, transparency just to have my eye looking that, like it's sort of like doing a zigzag on the page. So yeah, I am just playing around, literally. Like it, it, ta it takes me a minute <laughs> to figure out where everything goes. So I have that bit of Disneyland ephemera. It's actually a like a vintage ephemera piece that I just found online. Uh, there's a bunch of blogs that scan an old vintage Disney ephemera. Um, and I have an entire Pinterest board with Disney ephemera, like vintage. And so I'll leave a link in the description box for that so you can just like download and save those photos. But I'm just tucking it behind a photo of that clock um it's like an angle photo of the the castle at disneyland in anaheim and yeah i thought that would look really cute just to have that there so this is the packaging i think it's part of the packaging of the paper and it has all the different designs on it um, i decided to cut that down to like sort of mat my photo behind that or just to have it as another layer only because it had a little bit of that yellow paper but on a smaller scale um, that's that's found in the kit and I wanted to use that and I also wanted some of the other patterns to like peek through but I end up chopping off the bottom part with the little scallop and I am replacing it with the part that was on the top which is just a black and white polka dot because I just like how that looks
and I'm doing more fiddling here. Uh, I was trying to see if I can make one of those bows, those paper bows work. Those are from the Megan, the Felicity Jane Megan kit, and I actually take out the Felicity Jane Megan kit, the die cuts from that kit. And I'm pulling out, I think, all the butterflies to see if the butterflies would work. But I, I don't know, I didn't end up using <laughs> any of those pieces. I find different pieces. I actually end up pulling out a few more Fairy Tale Club Disney pieces to see if they would work. So now I'm just playing around with embellishing. Um, I'm replacing or well, kind of repositioning that doily there because I finally settled on that paper on the uh, the black and white like plaid stripe, and there was just too much empty space on the side there, so I had to move that doily over. Here I am pulling out some more of the fairy tale club pieces, and I just wanted something on that card. That card is very bold as it is because it has all the different colored hearts, and so I'm just trying to see what would work better. And I think I eventually settle on that. It's like a Mickey mini silhouette, but in a heart. I thought that was cute. I was trying to use the Mickey ears, but I didn't have something that was like black on any side of the page. And I thought the little black of the silhouettes wouldn't be so harsh. I was also toying with the It's a Small World clock tower because it was very colorful, but be because the heart pattern on the bag was also very colorful. I decided just to go with the Mickey and Minnie silhouette in the heart. Here you see I put those um, epoxy hearts there on the, like literally on top of the pocket page over the castle transparency. I do that a lot with certain dimensional pieces. I'll just kind of put them on top of the pocket page and yeah, I put the, the little Disneyland D. I put a heart there because it had like a dark mark that wouldn't come off and so I didn't want to see that. So just kind of put a little heart in the middle there. On the bottom right, I end up using tags, like the little tags. One has a pink heart on it and the other one says love and that's going to go right over the corner of the Flo's Cafe photo. I actually end up gluing it onto the actual card to put in the pocket, but after I finished this layout, I actually ripped it off of the card and taped it onto the pocket page protector itself, only because the little bow that I made was getting really smushed in the pocket. And I'm like, you know what? This can sit on the outside of the pocket page, like just fine. So you'll see here in a minute that I actually pull out some twine. I actually have a lot of different colored twine, but I think the best one that worked was the pink because the teal was a little too dark and the yellow was just a little too dark. And so I just kind of went with the light pink because you know what? Light pink works on anything, really. It's like the best color. <laughs> it's the best color. It's usually the color that matches like all the scrapbooking collections. And so I just kind of stuck with that, stuck with the light pink there, and I'm just making just a little little bow, a little wonky bow to kind of tie those two pieces together. And I'm just going to put some double-sided tape, and it's going to go right on the card, and then of course I end up ripping it off of the card. Like literally ripping my photo a little bit. But in the photos that you'll see at the end, you wouldn't even notice. But it's on top of the pocket page now and not in it. And so that is that pocket there and I start working on the top right pocket because I think for the most part I liked all the pieces and how they were positioned and everything and so I'm just gluing it down gluing everything down and once I'm satisfied with how everything looks on the card it goes into the pocket so I wanted to put that love there and the D there that represents Disneyland in Anaheim because that is the symbol for the Disneyland there. And yeah, I'm just taping everything down with some double-sided tape.
So once I do that, I decide to work again back on that little pocket there with the hearts. Again, I was trying to use all these other pieces to see if they would work, but nothing looked quite right. So I settle finally on the silhouette and the heart, and I put the little XO piece from the Felicity Jane kit there, and I'm just double-siding that with some double-sided tape, and it's just going to be stuck right at the center. And I think I end up putting another heart layered on top, and I think it's from the chipboard that came in the Bailey kit. Um, I was trying to use one of these epoxy hearts, and I think I pulled out the epoxy hearts from, oh my god, the, it was the kit last year. It was the Valentine's kit-ish last year. I think it was um, Lindsay. I think it was the Felicity Jane Lindsay, because the hearts are the same, but a little bit bigger. And so I think I go and fetch those. And I'm trying to see if something works. Nothing works, and so I end up pulling out the chipboard and trying all the little different black and white hearts there. And I settle on, I think, the smallest black and white heart. And what I end up doing is I end up putting it at, on the pocket page protector itself, so like on the outside of the pocket. And I always do that. If it's something that's dimensional, like like foam thickers or like a foam phrase or something or like chipboard it always goes on the outside of the pocket because i find that when you put it on the card and put it inside the pocket it kind of warps the pocket a little bit and i'm just like putting it on the outside of the pocket it's completely fine and i do that with other bulkier dimensional pieces so here i'm just going through all the pockets and seeing if anything needs to be added for this bottom right um, I decide to just put down a little, like tuck in one of these little tat, like it's a little label piece from the ephemera kit um, for the ephemera pack. And it just brings like a pop of that hot pink color that you find in the card with all the hearts. And I was trying to figure out what I can put there on that little corner and I settle on this little flower pot because I thought it was really cute and it matched, it was from the kit and so. It has nothing to do with Disney, and it doesn't have anything to do with Flo's Cafe, but it was cute, and it worked as an embellishment. I also end up putting some little floating hearts that come out. But I think I repeat that a lot in this particular pocket page, is the little floating hearts coming out from from somewhere, you know. And you see, you'll see me here putting it right on top of the pocket page. So now I need some sort of title, and so I pulled out the alphas from the Bailey kit, and I decided that I'm going to put my title up on that card that has the transparency, and I'm just placing the alphas right on top of the page protector, and I'm just titling it Disney Days, even though it's, I think it was just one day, this was documenting. Um, I took these photos when I was at Disneyland with my friend for a dapper day which was what the layout was about, the layout that's gonna sit next to this. It's also Dapper Day layout, so it's from the same day. Um, but these were just like the, the photos of the park that I took, um, and the other one was documenting me um, in my Dapper Day dress. So I decided just to put Disney Days. I thought it was really cute, and I love this font. It's so, it's like it has like little squigglies at the ends, and it's really cute, I don't know. And so that's what I just put there, it's just Disney Days. And I think that's about it for this pocket page. I'm just kind of looking to see if anything needs to be repositioned or um, added or subtracted or you know what I mean, like all those little bits. But I think for the most part, this was finished. And so here I'm just writing out my journaling. I hate my handwriting. <laughs> I hate when I have to write on layout, so what I do is I write what I want to write on my layout on like a separate like notepad or whatever, and then I copy it over, and I decided to do a capital letter 
like put everything in caps because I prefer the look of my handwriting when it's in caps. I don't know. I like it when it's in caps and I like it when it's in script. I don't like it when it's just like my regular um, kind of uh, print handwriting. I wish I had a typewriter here so that I could just feed this card into the typewriter and like type because I prefer the look of type journaling. I don't know, I find that it's, really, it's so much neater and prettier and even if you make a mistake it, it just looks better. But that's what I'm doing here, I'm just writing up my journaling and that's about it. I really hope you enjoyed this process and my rambling is that, yeah. Um, yeah, so thank you so much for watching and I will see you all next time. Bye!